There is also a time to get outdoors and enjoy one of the most beautiful times of year, really, in western Pennsylvania. Our next guest says it's good to get out to reconnect with the world around you. Life coach Marlene Boas says it can help you let go of things you no longer need. We were just talking about this last week on the show, David and I, and I was saying fall, it just reminds me to just let go and kind of start over. That's a good thing, and that's, I think, these seasons and these changes really invoke some um, emotions in us that we can really utilize to our benefit. And you're talking about bathe, what did you call it? Forest bathing. Forest it's, bathing. It doesn't does mean anything scandalous. We need soap <laughs> like, or right? body wash. Or... <laughs> we don't bring a tub into the woods. No, no, okay. No, no. It's not that literal. <laughs> no, and it is, you know, it's nothing I coined. This is a, a you know, a well-known kind of medium for relaxation. It comes from Japan. Mm -hmm. And when you think of a bath, a total immersion, right? We think of mm -hmm. bubble baths and, as relaxation. And we're so disconnected from nature these days that if you take the time to go in, we call it forest bathing, but anywhere in nature and really with intentional focus mm -hmm. on the sights and the sounds and the sensory input, it's very relaxing and calming and has great health benefits. Oh, and see, this is right up my alley because mm -hmm. I love to hike. So I I feel like I forest bathed already and I, I, I didn't even know it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, but you, you, you talk about not bringing electronics with you right. and just connecting oh. from your phone. Why is that? So the hiking is great. This is a little different in that it's very slow. It's not exercise. And you want to leave all the electronics behind so you have no choice but to really connect with nature and be very slow and intentional and pay attention to your senses like really stop and look so in life we're going so fast in so many directions mm -hmm. and we have all this sensory attention to it this calms you down and it also clears your head well it's also the mind it's like mindfulness it when is, we talk about like absolutely being in the moment taking in what's around you not thinking about the past or the future but the other thing that i love that you talk about is is letting go of grudges because if you don't let go of something like that it it does more harm to you than the person that you might have the grudge against right? absolutely and we've all been disrespected or there's been some injustice or some hurt somewhere and we know we carry that with us and sometimes we tell those stories over and over like this happened and this happened and we're just holding on to that and that's taking up valuable space in our life and so when you look at these leaves just filter down for, or just fall from the tree so gracefully they're no longer needed they're no longer bringing energy and productivity to mm -hmm. the tree so the tree lets them go well how do you do this forest bathing and how often should you do it well you know as much as you can yeah. but okay. uh, <laughs> how do you do it well, I like to think of starting with an intentional focus, like I'm going to go and connect with nature, you know, particularly today because maybe you want to express gratitude, maybe there are some things you want to let go of or whatever. So you go and you get really grounded, you take some deep breaths, and I'm talking about deep diaphragmatic mm. breaths because that tells your nervous system to calm down, and then begin a slow stroll, sort of aimlessly look around really look maybe pick up a leaf if you see a beautiful one and really look at it with much more intention than you normally look oh aren't they pretty you know really look at it turn it over feel it smell it look at you guys smell look like it. I'm like in a trance I'm taking a deep breath when she said take a deep breath I'm taking a deep breath yeah just your so description relaxed. of it is relaxing yeah. and then you know to really Smell it and smell, you know, if the, if the ground is moist, what does that smell like? The sun coming through the leaves, is it dappled, is it bright? Is there some mist? And we so often don't take the time to experience those kinds of things. And so you can see how if you do that for a little while, it calms down, it calms down your nervous system. There are real health benefits to it. Oh, thanks so much, Marlene. Yeah. I, I'm, I feel better course, already. I, I do. <laughs> Look for more helpful life advice on Marlene's website. You'll find a link at pittsburghtodaylive.com.